as final preparations are being made in London for the Olympic Games starting this week. The Israeli Olympic Committee is marking the 60th anniversary of Israel's first participation at the Olympics in 1952, and also the 20th anniversary of the nation's first Olympic medals acquired in Barcelona. Now, in the last 20 years since that first medal, Israel won at least one medal every Summer Olympics, and Israelis are looking forward to uphold that tradition in London this year as well. However, while there is much excitement and support in Israel during the summer period when the delegation is sent to compete and represent the country, some people believe that the government does not support the athletes enough all year round. The rallies they don't pay for them a lot because they need to be professional and they need, to, like you know, like the job, full job. And they need to, to training all day and uh, make living for it. Enough living, you know, good salary, like all the world. In many other nations around the world, to train as a professional athlete is a full-time job. While in Israel, many athletes cannot afford to focus all of their attention on sports and sustain themselves without working, therefore taking away from the time they have to invest in their sport. Sure, because it's a very expensive country. Very expensive to live here. And uh, if someone wants to dedicate a few years training, and he has no way to support himself is a big problem. Most of the, the, the athletes leave the field or they can't train so much. So it's very important to, to focus on only in the sport. But you need the, the government to invest more in, the, in each field. Some Israelis believe that money and budgeting is the issue. While the sports arena is important to Israelis, there are so many other arenas on the agenda in this small country in the Middle East that athletics seem to sometimes be sidelined from government priorities. I don't see it happening right now. I don't think that Israel has the capability to invest more money right now. They probably have a lot of issues that they consider more important. It would be wonderful if they could spend more money on the, athlete, on the athletes. The athletes can show a lot to the world, but at the moment I don't see it happening. It's a problem. In the country they are fighting now to have houses and uh, better jobs and uh, uh, it's a very expensive country and uh, I say, as we say in Israel, to the, the athletes that uh, make the best to compete and to train without uh, enough help from the government. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Culture and Sports Minister Limor Livnat met with the members of the Israeli Olympic delegation prior to sending them off to represent Israel in London. The entire country stands behind you and looks to you, Minister Livnat told the athletes, who will be competing in eight sports, including gymnastics, swimming and sailing. The challenge remains, however, not only during the competition, but in fact, when they will return home. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.